The lesson today is the easiest five switch-ups. Hola YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a wheel addict. As some of you might know, about a month ago I was in Hong Kong and when I was in Hong Kong I met someone which is as much of a wheel addict or maybe even more than I am. His name is Michael Young. He's been a big fan of this channel and a few weeks ago he asked me to make a video like I made about two years ago. About two years ago I made a video which was the first five tricks for aggressive skaters or the first five grinds for aggressive skaters. In my opinion, the first five tricks that you should learn should be a front side, a back side, a sword grind, a macchio grind and a music. So Michael asked me to make a video about the easiest five switch-ups to do with aggressive skates. There's quite a lot of switch-ups that you can do, but I tried to go with basic ones. Basically, I chose five switch-ups that you can do without doing super complex grinds. I was writing those here, so let me see what I got here. Basically, to be able to do this, okay, I'm not gonna go this, you'll see it in a second. I'm gonna be using the play rail. The play rail that we have in the shop is actually broken, so it's perfect for these because the rail is broken in the middle, so I'm gonna need to do the switch-ups in the middle. But when you're learning how to do the switch-ups, the first thing that you need to know is how to stall, obviously. If you're gonna be doing switch-ups, you know how to do grinds. But you wanna know how to change from one grind to the other and that you don't need to slide to do. So basically we're gonna be doing one stall and then change to the other stall which is the next grind that we wanna do. So that's the first thing we're gonna do and for this video I'm gonna be using these skates. The USDA and Billy O'Neill. I'm using a different liner because I have the, <laughs> the liner from these skates in other skates but we're gonna make this work. So enjoy this one. Do this outside. We're gonna use this one. Which we haven't used in a while. The lesson today is the easiest five switch-ups. To be able to do the first switch-ups. You need to know how to do a front side and a sole grind. A sole grind is this. And the front side is this. I'm gonna wanna mix both. I can do this switch up both ways. I can do sole to back side or back side or front side to sole. In fact, the switch up is not really a front side, it's a back side, as you just saw what I said, right? But it's actually the same because I'm doing it in a rail. So I'm first going to do the back side to sole and then the sole to back side. The book in my hand gives it that learner's look, you know. In my opinion, it's easier to do the back side to sole. Why? I don't know. But. It just feels right for me, but I know for some people it might be easier the other way around. The way I do it is when I do a backside, I know that I want to switch up to a sole. So the way that I do it is I bring all my weight to the front leg and when my weight is on the front leg, that's exactly when I move. When I do the move, the most important foot is of course the new one that is going to lock, which is the one in front. And then the back foot, I need to spin about 90 degrees. Super important, the back foot, which is going to be the sole foot, you need to bend your knee. In both of these tricks, you need to have your knees kind of close. So if you look at my knees now, this is the backside, right? Backside, your knees go together. On a sole, they also go together. So it's these, and then I go forward, and then they go together again. Knees, knees. It's all about the knees. Let me try it again. If I do the other one, it's gonna be the knees again. It's just different the way you do it, basically. You go from a sole and then you slide the back foot forwards and once the foot is there then you just do the change. Super important here, again, 
the foot that is going to change from forward to backwards, it's going to be the most important one. You don't want to miss the back foot while you're leaning back. So it's going to be something like, I'll do it again. All these switch ups can be done. I can do it switch, you can do it alley oop, which is like. But this is a lot harder, so I think I even broke the rail. Kind of. Maybe let's stop with this. Okay, first grind, done. Okay, second one. Soul to sweat stance or miso to top soul. It's basically the same mainly because I'm doing it in a rail. I didn't say it yet, but it's a lot easier to do switch ups on a rail than it is on a ledge. Again, the knees are going to be super important. From a sole to a sweat stance, the rail is gonna die. Or from a mizu to a top sole. Let me try it again, see if the rail doesn't die. You can also do it as a mizu to a top sole, basically. I think the rail is about to die. Anyway, basically for these grinds, there's four different ways of doing it. You can do a sole to a sweat stance or a top sole to a mizu, or you can also start the mizu way, which is like a mizu to a top sole or sweat stance to sole. I guess if you're learning how to do switch ups, you know exactly what I'm talking about, right? Now, this rail doesn't seem like it's gonna last. Let's see what we got next. Next one is going to be. It's not too hard, especially if you've done the first two. That means that you can do soles with both feet, right? So if you can do soles with both feet, you can also do an X grind. X grind is something like this. If you can do an X grind, now we're gonna try to do an X grind to a front side. Something that you should also know is when you do a switch up, you always want to move both feet. There are some exceptions, but we're not gonna talk about those. They are called budget. Right now we're talking about switch ups where we, where we move both feet. Stuff like this, that's not a switch up. We're talking about switch ups where you move both feet. Now the switch up we're gonna do is the next try, like I just told you, to a front side. It's basically mixing all the stuff that you've done until now. Something like this. Ooh. The real died. Let me try it again, but do we have any other screw to put there? I'm not too sure, I need to check inside. Eh? <laughs> the rail is dying, but we still got it. You got the thing. X grind to front side. Now, there's another switch up, which is again a mix up of what we've been doing until now. And that's actually a super simple one, but it's going to be a base, a really nice base for you to do a lot of switch ups in the future and that is super simple it's just a front side to a back side something like this you can do a front side like this and you can do a back side like that all you want to do is front side to back side i'm going to try to do it without dying but i can't promise i don't know do we have any tape let's fix it with tape we can do it i didn't tape find a way to finish this. I don't know how. We're gonna need to slide something. Okay, this slide. Okay. Let's try to do it differently now. This still slides. Just hope that I don't fall. Front side to back side. Basically, what we did here is, we didn't film it, but we tried to use a cable. We tried to use a cable just to put everything together. But when I tried, just broke everything. So now, the front side to back side, that's how it is. Easy, it's not a hard trick. Now, the fourth trick, I'm not gonna tell you exactly what you should do but I'm gonna leave it open to you. Basically, until now, we've been playing around with front sides, back sides, soles and X grinds and mizus. There's actually four tricks here. Now, the next challenge, which would be the fifth trick, would be mixing three tricks, would be doing like a, a triple switch up. Until here, we've been changing from front side to back side or from back side to front side or 
soles to backside, stuff like that. Now imagine we put three tricks. It's not too hard. So I'm gonna make one which is easy for me. That would be the X grind to front side to top sole, which is something not too hard. You can do that one, but you can also mix it differently. Basically, try to make a sequence with the switch ups that you've done before. So here's one example. Quick change of plans because of the screw there. I can't really start with the X grind, but I can do a Mizu to top sole to front side. So let me try it. <laughs> this could have been a lot better but the obstacle wasn't the best so I really hope you enjoy this one because this was the last one of this obstacle hope you guys enjoy this one if you did enjoy this one do not forget to subscribe to the channel give me a thumbs up if you like this video even if not all the tricks were executed as well as I wanted to and more important than anything else don't forget why we all started skating and that is because it's fun cheers guys and see you soon